when I got here, I had a lot of different activities in mind for myself. I came in with no experience doing any sort of journalism. Started with me building Legos. That just developed my passion for robotics. In first grade, I started my own vegetable garden. That's kind of where I first discovered the scientific method. Making change kind of sounds like just a platitude, a meaningless word, but to me, it, it kind of holds value how polarized we are as a nation. I'm not sure what I want to fix, but I do know that there are things to fix. We're at a time when there's a lot of questioning about where we're headed as a country and as a society. What does it mean to be a global citizen? How do we understand people who are different than ourselves and create out of that positive progress for our society? And Andover, I think, is right there in the mix, as it should be. We hear stories of our students and their aspirations of what they hope to achieve. And then there's always this transformation that takes place where they realize all that is available. And then they have to start to make choices. Freshman year, there were members of Out of the Blue, which is Andover Social Justice and Identity Organization. And they gave a talk about identity and privilege and the intersection between the two. It honestly changed my life. I joined Out of the Blue my freshman year. That's when I started to become really more aware of who I was. When people hear that I'm the president, they often assume that I started as a news writer. That is not the case. I started as an illustrator, so I was drawing ducks and illustrations for commentary articles. Being in the newsroom was a hugely formative time for me. Seeing how hard people work and the joy that goes into creating something was really special. My interest in agriculture comes from an early love of growing food. I did very nearly leave Andover. My interest was not shared with a lot of people. And then I realized that I need to stay here to convey the importance of this work. In the field of robotics, I'm specifically interested in bio-inspired robotics. I always thought, what can I build to help other people and to make their lives easier? greatest problem of the 21st century may very well be how do we feed the population which I expect to see exceed 11 billion people in my lifetime. Most importantly, how do we do it responsibly? What coming to Andover has made me realize is that the answer to this question is going to be extremely interdisciplinary. EveTech is a club I founded and it's focused on engineering research and innovative technologies. We are assembling an open source 3D printed humanoid robot. It will be around three feet five, so basically a very small child. <laughs> but it will be able to walk around the maker space and we'll give it abilities to speak and interact with students here. The space is so much larger than what it used to be. It's equipped with tools which will allow for the students here to explore mechanics and robotics. Anything is possible here. If you walk around campus, you would see so many different approaches to teaching. We acknowledge that students are learning in different ways. I volunteered with the Youth Development Organization, teaching the third through fifth graders the real life applications of math. Try to find a place on the map that you want to go. So I kind of saw myself in a lot of them. Wait, no, you can't drive to the Bahamas. You need to follow the routes. Teaching is so hard. I don't think I ever really appreciated what my teachers have done for me. The kids matter so much to me. I get that feeling of, yes, I did it, when the kids are in a lesson and they're engaged. It's honestly the most stressful, but also the most rewarding thing, because I don't want to fail them. <laughs> I really want to make sure that I'm giving them the education that they deserve, and that's something that's really important to me. The need that I have to be productive in a tangible way I found that with ceramics. It's this perfect way to play with the scientific method. You can try something and it changes and you can evaluate it and then reassess. It has allowed me to get really close with Mr. Zader. I'd call him one of my closest friends here. We hosted a grand opening of the Oliver Wendell Holmes Library. Oh Having the kids come back and say, did I see how we're gonna use the map collection? Did I see this new maker space? This is what Andover is all about. All the unique opportunities that exist in the classroom and outside of the classroom. 
I really wanted to go somewhere where journalism functions a little bit differently. And I thought, where, where better than Russia? So I reached out to one of my favorite journalists of all time, and um, she actually responded. She said, okay, well, you're already going to Russia for your learning in the world trip. Why don't you stay there for a few weeks? I'll introduce you to a bunch of journalists that I know there. It was, it was fascinating because Russian journalism has been so compromised by government censorship and government scrutiny. The challenges that are facing our global society are profound. That energy of, we're gonna change the world, that's really important. And I see that a lot in this generation. Andover has an obligation to keep making people who can bridge all sorts of divides, because that's how we make progress as a society. If Tessa from five years ago saw this moment that's happening with no context, five years ago Tessa would be very, very confused. I don't think that that's a bad thing. I've built connections that'll last a lifetime, but I've also built myself into a person that I think I can be proud of. I'm finally becoming the person who I want to be, not afraid to just speak her mind. Like, that makes me really happy that I'm being able to witness such growth. Coming to Andover was a life-changing experience. The community allows for so many dreams to be developed and established. When different disciplines, different areas of study all converge on a passion, that makes learning so exciting. Whatever your skills are, whatever you're excited about, that can be applied to work that makes the world a more equitable place.